Hello everybody, welcome back and welcome to part 8, I think, of my full promenade walk video. We finished our last video there, just by the gift shop and the food to go for some chips, just outside of Verso Street. So that's where I'm starting this new one and you'll notice I am on the side of the road now. But the reason is, once I'm getting through the Golden Mile area, there are many, many more people walking down the prom on that other side. So I think it's a little bit better to be walking on this side. I'm going to zoom the camera in a little bit like that so we can just see everything just as easily. So yeah, let's head on down from AJ's Double Burgers. My old cat was called AJ. Okay, it is karaoke bar. Sticky chocolate. Oh, there's one of them in Lisbon. And the food they sell is, well, food, the cakes and treats they sell is glorious. They're just so lovely. Donut star there. We've got hats. 10p prize bingo there. I'm trying to think of the name of that street but I truly can't. It may be Yorkshire Street. Yes, I can see a sign, it's Yorkshire Street. That's 10p price bingo there. I remember when you had to mark your numbers off using bottle tops. Donut Place. I guess that place has it, whatever we're looking for. They've got it. That is the old carousel amusement arcade and it's still got the carousel sign there but the big carousel sign that was on the front has gone and as a kid and they had all the space invaders and pac-man and galaxian and galka and all those like arcade games in the arcade the carousel that was my favorite one we all have this thing where we go in all the arcades with what few pennies we had We'd start at North Pier, walk down towards the Purple Penny, which was, well, it's where the new Sands Hotel is now. I was going to say it's where B&M's was, but B&M's down there is long gone. It's where that new Sands Hotel is. That was a Purple Penny arcade. And then you'd walk a bit down and just go in every single arcade and see if you found any of your mates there playing any of the games and if you didn't have any mates there you'd just watch random strangers playing big machines in games but you'd go in every single arcade and the carousel was always the best one and we'd go all the way down there there's lots of fun and then go down the road and there used to be a little arcade in that lifeboat building just down the road Anyway, back to today's walk. We're going to keep going down here now. We're passing Silcox Fun Palace. We're walking past Central Pier, past Central Pier entrance. You can see it's open now. The big wheel's going round. Super duper noisy. So fingers crossed that I don't get copyrighted. I think I should be all right as long as there's car noise and I can keep talking to any music. That street there is York Street. We've got here Golden Mile gifts and souvenirs. More donuts, you know, everybody likes to come on our donuts. We've got some there on Central Pier. Except for me. I really, really, really do not like the promenade donuts. I'm not saying they're bad, I'm just saying I don't like them. If we go opposite Central Pier. We've got Candyland, a world of sweets under one roof. They do all those American candies, what everybody likes, loads of them. Although they don't do the American candy that is my favourite. The American sweets that I really enjoy are the Smarties. I'm going to say Smarties, I don't mean the English Smarties, the little chocolate beans. I mean the hard candy rolls that are the American ones. I found one shop in Blackpool that sells them 
but they don't sell the ones that I like. They sell the sour versions, which I really don't like. I just got the normal sweet versions, but nobody sells them in Blackpool. Anything? There's a pass there now. I remember when that was McDonald's. I also remember it being a nightclub, I think. That is Chapel Street, looking down there. That runs all the way down to Central Drive. And there, on the corner, you've got that building. Got a little food court, doggy cafe, happy days amusement, shoe cellar. But when I was a kid, there used to be just on that corner there. There was a TARDIS, but well, not on the corner, so it's just around the corner down Chapel Street. There was a TARDIS and there was a Doctor Who exhibition. And it was open for quite a few years from what I remember. We've got that little place there. And then we've got the waxwork. We'll see that once this bus passes. It's going to be a little bit more awkward filming on this side. But it's still more comfortable for me filming where there's less people. There you go. We've got Madame Two Swords of Blackpool. The waxworks. Join the heroes with Marvel. And never been in there. I think I went in the waxworks as a child, but I don't really remember it that much. Just walking past the Central Pier tram stop there. Oh look, Peter Rabbit Explore and Play. We've got a nice scoopy ice cream place there. That's in the Pyramid Plaza. Did that used to be the Grab City? You know, there was an amusement arcade and it was all those clutching hand grabbing machines. I think it burnt down. Let me zoom out a little bit. I'm sure that used to be the Grab City that eventually burnt down. If, if you have that memory, let me know. Now we're passing Funland. Now I, I remember on the top of Funland, I'm sure there were go-karts I remember. And there was like a ghost train. But I also think there used to be an arcade where the sea life was. And that one might have had the go-karts and the ghost train. There had a lot of rides up on the top. Look at the front of the sea life, you've got the Gruffalo and Friends Clubhouse, that looks really cool. You know, if you're little kids so you've got little ones, that's adorable. My sister used to work as a manager at the sea life years ago. She was in the restaurant, not the manager of the building. She was one of the catering managers of the Sea Life restaurant. Got the new Life Boathouse there. And yes, I do know it's been in there quite a lot of years now. Let's, put, let's see what the date is. I wonder if I can zoom in all the way and see the date on the building. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I think it was built in the 90s. Oh, there's, there's the date, come on. 1998. So it's over a quarter of a century old. So maybe I should stop calling it the new lifeboat house. But it's always going to be the new lifeboat house to me. Right, we've passed the sea life. Now we're going to pass the Golden Mile Amusement. And... These land out. Now here, I'm sure you remember, before this was built, there was like fairground rides there, and I remember at this side, or definitely along the prom side of it, there was one of those big curly slides. And you would pay a certain amount of money, it wasn't much back then, you would get 10 tickets to have 10 slides, and every time you had a slide, you handed over a ticket. But it was like little bits of rubby card, really. But yeah, I remember, I'm sure I remember that as being just nothing 
the concrete and there was like fairground lights there because I remember the excuse me the rides and the way this video is getting on a bit now so I am going to finish this one and I will start the next one right here where we finish so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video you know what to do hit the like button before you go and please 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 subscribe if you like my videos and you're not already subscribed and i shall see you all soon in the next one goodbye